OpenAI recently launched the new Vision API, which allows GPT-4 to understand and look at images. And in this video, I'll be explaining how to use this with Python. So um, here, you can look at the documentation for it by going to the OpenAI documentation and clicking on Vision over here, or you can search for it as well. Um, here, I have a simple uh, code using this. And basically, I'll explain this right now. Um, what it's doing is that um, it's importing OpenAI, then I'm creating a new OpenAI client which interacts with the OpenAI API, and then I'm creating a new chat completion, which is basically a new chat with OpenAI's um, GPT-4. I'm using the module model GPT-4 Vision Preview. It's the new model they released to um, test this out. I'm sure they'll release like a GPT-4 Turbo or something like that in the future. Um, that comes with all these capabilities um, built in. Then we have this messages array, which contains all the metadata about all the messages sent to ChatGPT. Then we have um, the role of the message. So the, it's an array with, there's only one message in here, and it's sent by user. So it can, I, it can be user, it can be system, which is kind of like um, the guide prompt. Uh, basically telling the AI what kind of AI it needs to be and then the assistant is what the AI replies with uh, Anyways, the user is sending this um, and what they're sending is again an array They're sending some text. They're asking what's in this image. They're also sending a image URL um, Make sure you use this image URL correctly and in here you can put in a URL of the image Next I'll show you how you can use a local image but here I have this image of a sunflower field um, and we're asking what's in this image. Another thing you can do is if you make more JSON objects like this, you can actually attach multiple images, uh, which will give you some pretty cool results. Um, anyways, we also have the max tokens set to 300. You can increase this or decrease this based on how big you want your responses to be. Then. Uh, we can run this by running python main.py and this should hopefully give us a description of what's in this image so here we have a choice basically uh, we're check getting the first choice if you want the text I believe you do dot message dot content if you just want the message string um, it just says it shows a field of sunflowers which is correct um, you can modify the prompt to get a different tone, different like length, stuff like that. Um, you can modify this prompt. Next, I'll show you how to use a local image. Um, you need to use base64 for this. So I would just import this base64 uh, package. And we want to um, encode this image into base64. And I have Copilot, which I just suggests this for me to make this life easier. But what it basically does is that it just opens the image based on this image path variable and then it would encode use, using this base64 module we imported and it encodes this image file. And we have, um, it would return an encoded string um, on UTF-8 character set. So that's good. So instead of passing in a URL, now we can pass it in like this. Oh, the reverse copilot. Uh, but yeah, so it should be a JPEG. Just like this. Uh, it can be JPEG or JPG. I think both should be fine. So now, let's try this out. So here, there's like a call that I'm gonna load, and it basically takes the encoded image and it can now provide a description of it. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, there's a ton of use cases you can do with it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.